when you think about India, most likely you imagine tasty Indian curries, Bollywood movies, crazy traffic, or yoga. However, recently we discovered that India gave the world something special long ago. Yes, we are talking about Ayurveda, one of the oldest systems of healthcare in the world, and we just had to learn more about it. Luckily, we were visiting Kerala for a road trip, and it turned out Kerala is famous for Ayurveda. We found a beautiful Ayurveda retreat and stayed here for a couple of days to experience it for ourselves. So, the only thing what I was thinking about during the yoga was the coffee. No, I'm just kidding. The yoga was really nice and relaxing. Of course, we came here yesterday evening, so the first thing what we did when we came here was we saw a doctor. If you want to get any sort of massage, any sort of treatment, it's good to see the doctor because then she can recommend you what kind of treatment you want. And all the staff here, they are just so amazed. As soon as you enter this place, you have this such a positive vibe. It is just beautiful. Rice and millet. What juice is that, Mira? Watermelon. So we got our delicious, healthy breakfast. It's the first time we have breakfast here, but it, yeah. It looks really good. We got some watermelon juice and uh, even an egg. Exciting. The breakfast was amazing and I already regretted that we don't stay here for longer. At least we're staying too nice so that we can get a first impression of how it is to stay in a place like this. And I'm really excited because later, just in a few hours, I will get my treatments and I'm really curious how that will be. Yesterday we went to a doctor and she recommended me to just get a steam bath. That was the first recommendation. But I thought, no, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of baths and steam. So I choose something else. And apparently this is something really special and typical for Ayurveda. It looks like we are in the middle of the jungle, but I will show you what's behind this bronze entrance. Do you hear the meditation sounds? Really amazing. Uh, but yeah, when you come in, you see all these bungalows and you can also, yeah, you can decide to rent one of these bungalows, but we got a room in the main building, which is also really pretty and fine. But Really this little heaven of peace. Just see something really cool just now. I didn't see it before. Come, come on. You have to pet them. No, I'm afraid. Do you have to also give love to the little baby? Yeah. Oh baby. It's really young I think. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> the cows are really sensitive to your energy. Really big eyes. I've never yeah, realized that. Really pretty. You know, when I was a child, we also had cows. I grew up on a farm, and then I put my hands in the nose, like the big cows. Their nose is bigger, of course. My entire heads. I remember that. Really? I was super tiny, but I really still remember. And what that. did the cow do then? I don't know. I remember that my father, like, he walked with me, I think. So I was on cow level, and then I just. Hmm. Huh. After that, Mira was never allowed in a cow farm. <laughs> Let's take a selfie. I think they would have... Ow! Oh, it's eating my shirt. Oh, oh no. look! <laughs> oh, this is a new shirt. So, now we're gonna have a cow fragrance all day. <laughs> oh, they're calling us. Oh, bye. We're gonna come back. What is this, Mira? Big leaves yeah. behind you. It's so amazing. Like last year we went to India for our wedding and my mom was also there and she was so like surprised with all the trees and, and nature in India because these trees they grow in our house in the Netherlands this tiny and here they are so big and now I also see it before I didn't really realize. Yeah, see you see how big it is. Yeah. It's so pretty. And for this tour it's getting from 20 to 30 degrees. <laughs> I'm waiting for my treatments and I'm going to do this treatment. They drip oil on my head and I'm really excited, curious as well, but I think it will be super relaxing. The reason why they put oil on your forehead is so that you become more smart. Is it really? No. Oh, and I hear that you, they also do a head massage and full body massage with the oil and mm, exciting.
Meanwhile, Mira is doing her treatment. I'm at this yoga place. You can also just come here in the afternoon and chill. And some people, they like to do all the yoga practices themselves. So they were doing by themselves. They didn't join the class. So yeah, it's really open to everyone. And yeah, this whole area is just so nice and so peaceful. And it's such a good energy everywhere. Everybody who goes through the treatment, they have an umbrella on their head. I don't know what's the reason behind it. But there she is, Vera. I just took a shower, my hair is still a bit oily, but I wanna tell you a bit about my experience. I did some Google research to find the name of the treatment. It's called Shiro Dara, and it's Shiro means head, and Dara means flow, because yeah, the oil was flowing around my head. It was an experience. It started, we had to, you walked in, and then they said, yeah, take your clothes off. But apparently you have to be all naked, I didn't know. And now it's my turn, so I am really nervous. I am so nervous about it. I, I don't know, in the beginning I felt a bit awkward, like, yeah, you're suddenly naked, but then, man, they see bodies all day, and I just want to enjoy this experience, and I did. It was really relaxing. They started with a head massage. Oh, I love head massage. And then uh, they did this uh, full body massage, and then the, the Shirodara started. And your eyes are, of course, covered, so you don't really know what's happening. You feel this oil going from one side to the other side. So you get a little bit in this flow. And uh, this oil sometimes was a bit hot, sometimes a bit colder, but it was really relaxing. And then they also did this with my head, I think to take the oil, yeah, to spread the oil. But yeah, it was really nice. Mira got herself relaxed, but now she gave stress to me that I have to be naked. Yeah. I We'll see. It but it's not just for like two minutes, you know. No, it's not hour. like you go see a doctor and then it's done. I have to be honest, you're naked, but they also kind of cover it with some oh, yeah. clothes. That's good. Yeah. Oh, that helps. Thanks. We have some lunch. Oh, oh I did it. It always the food, smells really yeah, nice. The food here is just, just for the food, you can already come here. It's vegetarian lunch, but it's, a, it's with a lot of lentils, a lot of chickpeas, a lot of protein. So they make sure that it's a mix of everything. So that's really good. Oh, that's nice. Do you think the massage helped? Otherwise you wouldn't be able to do the I handstand. I feel really, really calm somehow. And I say it's really good for the sleep quality. So tonight, tomorrow I will be reborn. Right now we are going for the massage. What's your name? Vivek. Vivek. So Vivek would, uh, is uh, taking me to the massage place. And later, Mira can come and film me when they can put some towel on me. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> We made it to the mahogany forest with mahogany trees. Not sure yet which one is the mahogany tree, but maybe they have some information sign. And you might be wondering how was my massage? It was pretty good. I did something called as potli massage. So potli, I don't know what's the name in English, but it looks like this. So it's like this little bag and they have some herbs inside, some medicines, and they warm it up and they tap it on your body and that helps to relieve all the nerve pain, all the nerve compression in your muscles. So it was pretty good, pretty relaxing, a lot of oil, a lot of yeah, pressure on the body. I felt really good and now just feel like a new man. I think this sign means be careful of wild elephants. Yeah, there are elephants here. This Is it? Yeah, I saw a sign as well in our, uh, in our retreat place that they have elephant tours. It is raining quite heavy, I think, but there's so many, but there's so many trees that you don't really feel the rain. I like it. Yeah, it's really cozy. Yeah. And how much was the entrance for this forest? Uh, 350 rupees. And I'm afraid Adi told that in India, apparently for everything you have to pay entrance. Uh, it depends. Or no? Oh. No, like it's diff the price is different, right? For Indian and foreigners, for every... Yeah. Uh, he National was 50 park rupees, or... I am 200 rupees worth. <laughs> yeah, and my camera is 100 rupees yeah. worth. If you, are, if you have a big camera, it's gonna cost you 100 rupees more. Yeah. But I think it's worth it.
hooked up wire. Really, really nice. In the beginning, we really questioned should we go inside or not. We didn't know anything about the water. It was fantastic and it was totally worth it. Here we are, back to our place. No, it yeah, was really you. good, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Now to in seven of those, we have culture food. What do oh, they yeah? have? Oh yeah, some cultural program. Oh! <laughs> so, but what happens, uh, we had to lay down and not move at all and... Like in the shavasana. Yeah. You know what it shove means? No. Dead body. Dead body? Shove. I felt like a dead body. Probably. Like normally I'm super comfortable lying down with like my back up, you know. Yeah. But I felt so peaceful and yeah. then I slept a little bit. And I to add that. to the coziness, it was really yeah. cool. So really cool. Nice. But now... We just got to know from the yoga instructor there is a cultural program in our restaurant. So we're gonna go and have a look what's going on. But first wash my hands. It's all oil everywhere. Oh yeah, still, uh, but but the skin feels really good. Yeah, but super yeah. good. My hair, it's oil. Yeah, because they were dripping oil in your hair yeah. for like 45 minutes. There is enough oil. Okay, let's enjoy the cultural show. dinner it looks really different I said oh maybe they have pasta tonight and they have or noodles the food was amazing the only thing is if you're sitting in the restaurant you have to socialize like of course you have to socialize and that's a good thing but eating and talking to somebody you have never met before that for us it doesn't really go hand in hand because then you have to eat and then you talk and you have to eat and then you talk but speaking of socializing you also meet a lot of interesting people because everybody's here they have kind of similar interests to what you have. So that's really cool. And we have met some really interesting people during our breakfast, lunch, and dinners. That was really cool. And now, Mira lost her bottle, so she found it. Did you hear, did you tell about the Indian story? No, I told about the socializing part. Oh, now tomorrow morning, it's too late now. Tomorrow morning, we'll tell you something really interesting about India. Yeah. Blew my mind. We met a really smart person. He had some intro, really crazy, really interesting cool. facts about India. So you're gonna tell you tomorrow. It might be a bit controversial. <laughs> let us know in the comments tomorrow. It's our last day and we have to leave, unfortunately. But I promised you yesterday evening to tell you a story, what we hear it's during dinner. So apparently, north and south of India, they have different beliefs around the gods. For example, the elephant god, Ganesha, in the north, uh, they believe that he had two wives. And in the south, the same god is a bachelor. And uh, the guy uh, which we were talking to during dinner, he had a theory for this, but we are really wondering what do you think, why these different stories are here in India? And let us know in the comments, maybe we can learn something. <laughs>